Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to your readings for December 2019. We made it. We're at the end of the year, guys. We got through this doozy of a year that was 2019. It's been really a strong one will say, but hey, we made it. So congratulations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? It is great to see you. So before we move forward, I just wanna say this really quick. I have this small intro here that I put in front of all of the monthly Zodiac readings. Um, and if you are new to, the, new to the channel, I highly recommend that you watch this intro once just so that you can get a general in some general understanding of how the readings work, how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading, blah, 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 all that good stuff. If you are watching multiple videos, I have put a timestamp in the comments section below that you can use to skip this intro, but I still recommend that you watch the intro at least once, yes? Moving forward from there, right after the intro, you're gonna find that we start into, we do actually get into the reading, but we start with the pre-shuffle energy. The pre-shuffle energy is the moment that I take right before I start recording the actual reading where I'm channeling the energy of the zodiac sign in question, and I start to shuffle the cards, and when things come out, I start to get the, the general energy of what we're gonna potentially be talking about during the reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be that that message continues, into the actual full-on spread for the reading, but it seems to be that way. It's quite often seems that the pre-shuffle cards come out, come back out in the actual reading, which is really cool. But just to clear up some confusion, that pre-shuffle energy is in fact part of the reading. But because this is a general reading, if that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, just get through that and then see what comes out in the rest of the reading, yeah? So I want to wish a very, very happy birthday to the Sagittarians out there because we are in your season. Happy birthday, my Sagittarius! Yeah, it is your birthday season. Very happy birthday to you guys. I love you all so, so very much. I hope you have a great, week, uh, a great month and a great birthday season. I also want to extend a very happy birthday to the December Capricorns out there. We're going to be moving into your season next, at least in terms of Vedic or not Vedic, I'm sorry, Western astrology astrology. With that said, my channel here can resonate either way, Western or Vedic astrology. You take that into account. You let that work for you. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, don't worry about it, okay? It, just let it go over your head, <laughs> okay? Um, so with that said, we are moving into January, which is going to be the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations was actually the birthday of Divine Conversations is January 8th. That was the first day that I posted readings here on the channel back in 2018. So Divine Conversations is going to be two years old, you guys, in January. I am super, super excited about that. Um, if you would like to get in on some sort of celebration about Divine Conversations or for Divine Conversations, if you want to send a gift, some, some, something to commemorate, blah, blah, blah. If you have you know a special um, deck of cards that you would like to send to donate to the channel to be used on the channel, whether that be Tarot or Oracle cards, I do have a P.O. box. The, P, the, the address for the P.O. box can be found in the description box below. Um, along with a bunch of other information, like information for personal readings, yes? So keep in mind that these readings are general, okay? So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more specific view into your situation, then please don't hesitate to email me. My email address along with a list of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and their prices can be found in the description box below. Yeah. Um, so you also can find me on social media. I am on Facebook 
at facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. You can also find me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. The links to those sites can also be found in the description box below. I do invite you to interact with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. However, if you would like to send me a message, if you would like to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to, if you want to um, order a reading from me, I highly recommend that you do not message me through through Facebook just because I don't always get those messages as quickly as I would like to or as quickly as necessary. Um, I do not want to miss your inquiries, especially if you're looking for a personal reading, okay? So your best bet, if you want to get a personal reading with me, your number one best bet is just to email me directly, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That can be found in the description box below. Or to just send me a message on Instagram. Instagram is much easier for me to communicate with you guys uh, direct message-wise. Facebook is just not that reliable, and I don't want to miss your inquiries. Inquiries, okay? So for the cross watchers out there, I do want to explain that these are general readings and mostly I am going to be speaking to the, um, well, not mostly I am. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, mostly I am speaking to the Zodiac sign in question, but because these are general readings, it can be vice versa. It can switch. So if I am explaining a a situation for say Aries and you're a cross watcher for an Aries and I'm speaking directly to the Arian however the story that I'm telling is f is flipped and I'm actually it actually resonates more than I'm speaking to you than the Aries then take it okay take it as it resonates but if it doesn't work that way don't try and make it fit you're only going to at that point end up confusing yourself more or just getting all um, confuzzled and you're just worse off than when you started yeah cool um Finally, what I want to mention is I'm using a brand new Oracle deck this month. And actually, this Oracle deck, it's called the Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This deck was sent by one of our viewers, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you so very much for sending this deck. I used it for the readings this month. And let me tell you guys this deck is awesome it's so interesting how i can you know choose different oracle decks and the messages still resonate very strongly with the rest of the reading you know i was actually and i shouldn't be surprised by that but i was a little I, it was pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome Ooh. okay well with all of that said i think we're ready so let's get into the reading yeah <laughs> Awesome. Sag <laughs> Hello there, Sag. And welcome to your reading for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's jump into your pre-shuffle energies here. So one card came out for you, and that was the Seven of Wands. And immediately what I felt was um, you putting into practice some things that you have learned recently. Um, I'm hearing, uh, well, specifically laws of the universe uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, here you do have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Um, and I, I, I was picking up on this before I even saw the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. What I got from the seven of wands is keeping up your defenses, keeping your defenses strong, um, but also putting into practice things that you have learned on behalf of um, uh, the way the universe works and all of these, these changes that you've been going through over the last f four months. I mean, so we, uh, things got really intense for Sagittarius, at least on my channel here back in August. Um, and that's where a lot of cleansing and clearing, a lot of things had, where it was coming up to the surface. And, and now it seems we've been, we've been, the, the story has been continuing since August, which I think is really cool. Um, and it seems here that now it's almost like you have the confidence to stand up for yourself. I'm hearing the wherewithal even to stand up for yourself. And it's not even that you weren't capable of standing up for yourself before. It's just a matter of the things that you have learned, I'm hearing specifically the things that you have seen in your life up until this point. Um, and, and what you've learned from all that it has 
been able to fortify you and put you in this place of understanding the laws of the universe, the basics of how to manifest, how to work with the universe, having a much more expanded point of view um, than just in a three-dimensional physical sense, right? Um, so for some of you, this is law of attraction. These are, you know, spiritual esoteric things. For others of you, this doesn't have to be laws of the universe. It's just the high priestess brings forward for you a deeper understanding rather than what's just on the surface level. Okay, so the the vibe or the feeling that I'm getting here for you, Sagittarius, for the month of December, um, or at least just whenever you watch this reading, whenever this resonates for you, what's coming through here is that you're really putting what you've learned and what you've experienced in the past to good use at this point, moving forward, okay? That's really excellent. But the biggest thing about this, Sag, is the fact that you have, you have the confidence to do so now, whereas you didn't really have that necessarily in the past. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what else we've got for you, yeah? Justice just caught my attention. Is it, it was, no, Page of Cups is at the bottom now. But when I did that shuffle, the just, Justice card was at the bottom of the deck and that caught my attention. Um, and I do feel like that's relevant to your situation right now. There is a good amount of justice that's coming into your life right now. And I really feel like you have a very heavy hand in it, just in this justice, just by changing i want to say changing the way you view things changing the way you're seeing things okay changing your perspective it's beautiful sag okay here we go hi spirit please make me a clear channel for all sagittarians sun moon rising and venus please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of november no 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 not november <laughs> wow december for the month of december 2019 <clears throat> Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got for you, Sag. One. Two. I apologize if you're hearing all the commotion that's going on out in the street. <laughs> Three. But my, I have a new mic. If you've been following along, you know that I have a new mic microphone and it's picking up a lot of the extra stuff that goes out on the street. But sorry about that. It's life in New York City. <laughs> Four for my saggies. And five. All right, Sag. Let's see what we've got here. Cut the deck. Okay. Overall energy, you have the 10 of cups, Sag. Excellent. So for some of you, this has to do with family. Um, I do feel like for some of you, there is some sort of reconnection here. I'm picking up specifically that this has some sort of connotations or it has some, it's, it's indicating something along the lines of childbirth. Um, so maybe some of you are getting into a position where, okay, well, what I'm seeing specifically is that someone it, there's a couple out there that's looking to start a family, maybe extend, expand their family. Um, that's a, that's really awesome. For others of you, this does have to do with childhood healing or healing from the past, past circumstances that have to do with family, um, whatnot, whatever. But also the biggest thing that I'm getting for you guys, regardless of what your specific situation is, this 10 of cups is representing the happiness that you are moving towards maybe even the happiness and fulfillment that you may have found and i do feel like for a lot of you this is overcoming having overcome the obstacles in terms of whatever was hurting you in the past okay now you're it's like the sky has cleared and the sun is shining and now you know you've either found this extreme sense of um uh, emotional satisfaction emotional fulfillment or now the space is clear for you to start really cultivating you know this ten of cups energy um 
for some of you it's like you are the sky has cleared and so now you're really able to see see in front of you maybe even see the future um or maybe you're looking towards the future i'm also getting a bit of a planning energy with this ten of cups it's like now that you can see clearer it's like okay well what am i what can i do to to expand my horizons or um to cultivate some sort of emotional fulfillment that's really great underneath the ten of cups you do have the four of cups okay but i do feel like this is you overcoming um the heartbreak this is what you have overcome um i do feel like you're coming there's a sense of coming out of this boredom energy not feeling good enough underneath the four of cups yep there it is the world and underneath that oh all right sag the emperor so like seriously you guys really are in an energy of taking your power back um putting to rest all of the things um putting this boredom energy to rest putting these feelings of unrequited love or um rejection missed opportunity whatnot whatever that's coming to an end i really do feel like you guys are in the process of pulling yourself out of this um that actually could be the biggest thing here now that you know now that the sun has uh, the sky has cleared a lot of the rain has gone a lot of the the terrible things that might have been holding you down in the past or making you feel unworthy or or for some reason that's all clearing away you're pulling yourself out of this and what i'm seeing with this four of cups energy even though this is an energy of like unrequited love or missed opportunity what i feel like here is in the past you've been in this energy of with where the universe was trying to hand you some sort of opportunities or whatnot whatever you didn't feel good enough you didn't feel confident enough to actually take that cup but now that's changing okay Beautiful. All right, Sag. Let's look at the rest of what you've got here. First half, you can look at this as the first half, second half of your reading, or you can look at this as the first half, second half of your month, whichever you prefer. Okay. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Sag, you have temperance. There you are. But this is you balanced. This is you alchemizing. This is you bringing. Interesting. This is you bringing into focus the past, what that has been, what that meant for you, what that, what you dealt with there, and what you may have learned from it, and alchemizing that into in with like future energies. What do you want your future to look like? Where do you want to be? What do you want to do? Where do you want to grow? How do you want to grow? Where do you want to go? All that kind of stuff. It's like you're you're. Yeah, you really are. You really do feel like the ulti the ultimate alchemist right now, Sag, and that's really beautiful. There's a, definitely a sense of balance and understanding here. Okay, uh, Temperance is coupled with ooh the Seven of Swords. Very interesting. Um, for some of you, oh Lord, my light. <laughs> Sorry guys, my light just fell. Well, I'm glad it didn't break. Um, so the seven of swords energy here sorry about that guys good golly good golly get it together eric all right i'm gonna leave that there <laughs> sorry guys okay for some of like the seven of swords energy can mean that you don't necessarily um you're not really speaking you're not saying anything about what's going on or how you're changing how you're alchemizing but also this is bringing into perspective a lot of the deceitful things that may have happened maybe ways that you may have been deceiving yourself um i mean yeah and i'm hearing i'm hearing putting the past behind okay so whatever it is you dealt with in the past i really do feel like you've learned from it okay Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag, in the first half of your reading. The Ten of Wands. Okay. Now, you could be in a really burdensome time right now. Um, and I feel like this, bur what burden, whatever burdens you may be experiencing right, right now, Sag, have to do with the level of awareness that you've come to i just feel like this ten of wands there could be a, a good amount of burden for you right now as you're trying to change things as you're trying to alchemize and, and pull yourself up which i do feel like you're doing successfully but with this level of awareness that you've come to that there are 
there are more things that are being, I'm, okay, I'm hearing more burdens are coming to the forefront. Things that have been burdening, burdening you from the past are coming to the forefront. That could be what this Seven of Swords energy could be talking about. I do feel like there are things that are surfacing right now that you're coming to terms with that you're, well, and they're surfacing now because now you you have the, the ability, the time, the energy, the focus, the frame of mind to release yourself of some of these burdens here, okay? Ten of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. Excellent. Okay. So I'm getting for some of you, um, wow, for some of you, I'm getting a single mom vibe here. Um, but for others of you, you're like really, you're very much a provider. Okay. Or you have been a provider. This could be, this could be a mother for you, a mother figure in the past for you. There could be a lot of burdens that are surfacing in terms of like a mother figure, um, act an actual mother, a grandmother, an aunt, um, uh, a foster parent, a foster mother, something like that. Um, I do feel like though, for some of you, you are this nurturing mother like energy, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, but also, what this is saying here, Sag, is that, um, you know, whatever burdens you might be feeling or dealing with right now, you do have the wherewithal to, to, to handle it. You can handle it. Although I do feel like there are some unnecessary things here that you are, that you have been carrying, um, that you need to release yourself of, or I'm sorry, release yourself from. <laughs> I'm just trying to look into this a little bit more, get a little bit more of this. I am picking up specifically that for some of you, you know, you are this mother figure. I am seeing, oh, I'm seeing a woman specifically in this case. Um, okay, so if you're dealing, like if you do have a family or, you know, if you are in a, in a family structure, um, whether you have children or whatnot, whatever, I do feel like there are a lot of burdens that are coming to the forefront that, are pe that people are becoming consciously aware of that is going to help you release some of that because of the conscious awareness of it. Some of you might have to speak up in terms of that. Wow, okay, so there's also a sense of balance that's coming into, the, in, into, your, into your lives, Sag, um, that <laughs> I just heard took a long time to get here. It took a long time to get here. And for some of you, you're confident enough to, a to be able to like speak up for yourself. And that could be a lot of what you what you had to do with what you've learned, you know, which was coming out in the in the um, overall. I'm sorry, the pre shuffle energies with the seven of wands and the high priestess. It's like now it's time to put into practice what you've learned here and start to take some action steps and do the self care is what I'm hearing to release yourself of some of these burdens that you've been carrying for so long. Wow, Sag. Okay, that's that's really good. That's very, very good. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here is the Four of Swords. Now, what I'm picking up specifically is you need to allow yourself to rest. Some of you need to allow yourself to rest. You're going and going and going and going, and you're running the risk of burning out. Um, I'm also getting a sense of guilt or shame around taking a break, taking some time to yourself. You need to do that. You need to be able to do that, especially if you are in this nurturing, loving, mother-type energy again whether you're a man or a woman it doesn't really matter um but especially if you're playing this role of the queen of pentacles of some sort of in-home provider or um just whatever um you if you're going to be there for other people you have to be able to take some time for yourself and be there for yourself and rest and whatnot and so allow yourself some time to heal allow yourself some time to rest meditate whatnot whatever Four of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Oh, well, okay, here's the thing. The Ten of Pentacles represents family, whatnot, whatever. It also represents career and business and, and, and longevity. And uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh, goodness. It's escaping me now, but um, but also the Ten of Pentacles does represent being in something for the long haul, and and I'm kind of getting almost like a marathon energy. And what I'm picking up here is, um, if you wish to really 
be able to to do this if you for for the long haul you know for the foreseeable future you have to be able to allow yourself to, to rest and take some time for yourself or you're going to burn out okay okay for some for others of you there is an energy of um needing some time to think about where your career is going i'm kind of getting that there might be some some planning steps that you might need to take here okay closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here sad you have okay the chariot excellent cancerian energy potentially um but this is you having a vision and moving forward, moving forward strongly, keeping yourself in balance, getting into balance. I feel like for some of you, you've been gearing up for this chariot, whatever the chariot represents for you here. Um, this is something that you've really been taking your time with, something that you've really been working pretty hard on, uh, planning for, whatnot, whatever. And I feel like the momentum is going to start picking up soon. But this is also, I'm feeling a very strong sense of confidence here, the chariot, and not being afraid to assert yourself, not being afraid to stand up for yourself, not being afraid to speak up for whatever it is that you believe in, especially if, in your, if you're in this energy of releasing yourself from some sort of burdens here. This chariot energy is giving me the vibe that, you know, you're willing to see it through. You're willing to do whatever it needs to do, whatever you need to do to see something through, to, to work on bettering yourself to heal yourself even more because it's from this balance that you're striking here with temperance that you're able to do that okay beautiful the chariot is coupled with there it is the nine of pentacles sag beautiful independence strong will um not really i mean not being a complete and total hard ass but also not taking any shit from anybody you know that's it's a beautiful energy to be in. Also, the Nine of Pentacles is uh, rewards, uh, rewards for work well done coming through for you, okay? You have a lot of completion here, Sagittarius, from the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the world here. You have a lot of completion. Okay, we'll see if the Ten of Swords comes out. That would be cool. Okay, so getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies you have... Oh, right. The star. Look at you, Sag. I mean, damn. I really do feel like there is a strong sense of faith that you have here that has been instilled within you um, for yourself and for like with, on behalf of the universe, like faith in the universe, faith in yourself. I'm hearing for some of you, there is a sense of completely knowing what you're capable of and allowing yourself to do it especially with this chariot energy um and the nine of pentacles so that so as you as you come into this here the chariot and the nine of pentacles um faith is going to be restored or it has been restored and now you can move forward towards your dreams and your goals the star is coupled with okay the queen of cups all right more cancerian energy here um but this is empathy this is emotional balance this is intuitive nature this is psychic ability this is unconditional love that's wonderful but you see this is unconditional love for yourself too all right this is an understanding of this is okay so what's really coming through for for right now at least for this set um is you loving yourself enough to nurture yourself or knowing your boundaries knowing what you're capable of and knowing what it is you need to feel happy safe and secure and giving that to yourself and ultimately that will not only shine you know in your life but it will it will it'll shine for others okay and that i'm feeling like that energy is going to flow out and and is going to help lift others as well um but it's also going to help you continue to achieve your goals or this is this is the energy this queen of cups energy here is the energy that's helping you stay in this mindset of faith which is really beautiful sag really really beautiful second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here you have okay we have the ace of swords though i'm sorry the eight not the ace the eight of swords See, okay, it's interesting that I said Ace of Swords, or at least it sounded like I said Ace of Swords, when, because what I'm getting with this Eight of Swords here is that 
you're you're breaking yourself free from this confinement just like you are releasing yourself of some sort of burdens here with the ten of wands okay now what i do want to say with the ten of wands and the queen of pentacles this is definitely an energy of even if okay so if you're not in like a family situation or whatnot whatever um you're not really in an energy of trying to nurture anybody this is you knowing your worth understanding your value and not taking your not allowing yourself to be taken for granted and shutting down anything that would overburden you and that's kind of what i'm getting here with this eight of swords in releasing yourself from some sort of mental prison i also heard self-control in that as i was speaking that i i heard in the back of my head there was some sort of a sense of self-control that's actually allowing you to break free from this mental prison so that might be um controlling your thoughts better not maybe not having such a doomsday uh chicken little the sky is falling mentality any longer that's really good eight of swords is coupled with okay there it is strength but there right that <laughs> wow this is the card that would represent self-control so for many of you it's like you've got your 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 mind in check, your thoughts in check. You're not letting your mind run away with you any longer. You've you've really struck a balance or you really are striking a balance here that's allowing you to keep to keep yourself centered. I'm also hearing keep yourself tempered. Temperance, okay? It's excellent, Saj. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Oh, the lovers. Well, well, interesting enough, interestingly enough, I was feeling with this Queen of Cups and the Star that for some masculines out there, there is a, an unconditionally loving feminine, whether it's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. And even if you're the masculine, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. We're not talking gender here. We're talking energy. So those of you that resonate more with masculine energy, I do feel like there's a Queen of Cups out there that's coming to you that the universe is helping align you with and now that's kind of being mirrored i guess you could say or or um it's kind of what i'm get, getting with this with the lovers here uh, this could either be a choice um it could or it could be a romantic relationship i do feel like it, it being in the challenge here i do feel like this is what you're working on aligning with i just feel like there's some sort of there's an energy of trying to yeah there's an energy of uh, with this lovers it's like aligning with a, a divine counterpart you want to call it a soulmate you want to call it a twin flame whatever it doesn't matter whatever resonates with you um <clears throat> that is your challenge but it's a good but I, uh, to be honest i feel like it's a good challenge to have um i'm i'm specifically getting love vibes from this so guys keep in mind that this is a general reading so if that doesn't really resonate for you then maybe this isn't the message for you but actually i really do feel like it could be because what i'm feeling here is that the, you know as you're going through this completion as you're pulling yourself up out of the trenches and you know you're balancing yourself you're finding harmony you're you're you know you're focusing on this ten of cups here that ultimately could also have you working on aligning with a divine partner a soulmate a twin flame whatever you want to call it okay and okay so i am also getting an energy of a choice here but this is i, I feel like you are consciously in an energy of focusing on what it is you need to do to line up with the ideal relationship or what it what it even what your ideal relationship would even look like interesting very interesting okay the lovers is coupled with oh the king of wands well 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 there is that masculine i was talking about now this could absolutely be you sag with this king of wands technically though this would be leo energy the king of wands but it could also be another an, an aries a sag whatnot whatever it doesn't have to be any of that okay but do you see here do you see how this king of wands is looking all in the queen of wands uh, queen queen excuse me queen of cups direction that's really cool <clears throat> so you could actually have an eye on someone 
or have your eye on someone here with this Queen of Cups energy. Um, the feminine to your mask, the feminine counterpart to your masculine. Um, maybe someone that's very intuitive, very psychic, but not whatever. I mean, it doesn't have to be that, but it could be. I do, I feel like there's an energy here of someone trying to figure out how to get to the ideal relationship, the ideal partnership, okay? Excellent. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading, Sagittarius, you have. Oop, there's the high priestess again. Secrets. I do feel like you're communicating with the universe quite a bit. High priestess is coupled with. Whoa, you guys, the Hierophant. Wow. So these are divine counterparts here. This is like the ultimate. These are the ultimate counterparts in the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Um, a good balance between masculine and feminine energy. Um, I'm feeling a good balance between spiritual, esoteric wisdom and um, three-dimensional physical wisdom. Wow. Wow, Sag, this is really cool. I just heard counterparts coming together. And I do feel like in this counterpart situation, the masculine absolutely would represent the Hierophant, the feminine represented by the, the High Priestess. It's like, this is a very specific message. Um, and, and I guess it could apply collectively because I do feel like this could be, if you're looking for love or looking for a relationship or something like that, I feel like you would be vibing with this. but. Um, yeah, you, this dynamic, I feel this dynamic or this partnership in one individual embodying the feminine and one individual embodying the masculine. And it, it is, I, I don't have any other words to put it in the sense of like, it just you, you two embody the epitome of balanced and whole and healthy masculine and or feminine energy. And then to, to when you two come together or together, you make this like greater whole, this greater sense of balance and temperance here. Okay. That's really cool. Now, for others of you that aren't necessarily looking for love, this is a this does feel like having that balance of masculine and feminine, esoteric, spiritual, and and physical wisdom together. This could this could actually be what you're striving towards. So for some of you that some some of the you sagis that out that are out there that are more on the masculine side of the spectrum um i do feel like here you're in a process of really working on balancing your feminine energy absolutely okay so that actually could be a really really big thing for a lot of you especially now i'm seeing it here with the ten of wands and the queen of pentacles it's from your you're definitely working on balancing some of you many of you are definitely working on balancing your masculine and feminine energy Okay, so this is definitely a period right now where you might be a little more focused on, you know, the feminine side of things, intuition, your emotions, that kind of thing, because you were very much, I mean, you very much have this masculine energy on lock for those of you specifically that I'm, that I'm channeling this for. And now you're working on balancing the feminine. That's really, that's really excellent, Sag. This is great. I really like this for you. All right. So now let's uh, close out your reading here with your oracle guidance. Yes. Oops. All right. For my Sagis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for the month of December 2019. Okay, here you go. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for Sagittarius. Just one. Okay. Huh. All right. You have card number 23. Abuela medicine. Remedy of the grandmothers. Now, interestingly enough, here's that feminine or that mother energy I was picking up on. Hmm. So... Okay, I do feel like some of you are very much connected with the Earth right now. Um, mother Earth or Mother Gaia, could be really um, coming forward very strongly for you right now to help you with this balancing of the feminine within. Very interesting. Very, very interesting, Sag. I like this. 
Okay. All right. Believe in the formidable power of healing, of the transformation that it can provide for all aspects of your being and your life. Medicine comes in many forms from great spirit to facilitate healing of body, of mind, and of soul. Whether it is the correction of unhelpful habits or of, uh, of, excuse me, let me say that again. Whether it is the correction of unhelpful habits of thought, guidance for the particular steps to resolve a physical imbalance, or deep soul healing that frees you into fulfillment of your divine potential, there is no limit to what can be healed through grace. A current of divine healing is flowing to you and through you now. Open yourself up to participate in a beautiful healing transformation. Wow. This says, in a reading, it says, you are on a healing journey. Put your trust in the divine genius of great spirit and the medicine of the earth through which divine healing can express itself. As you allow your spiritual connection to guide your, health, your earthly steps with synchronicity and divine intervention, you will be supported for a healing journey that will be profound for you. This oracle indicates a healing outcome that will enhance your soul journey. Your soul has healing gifts, and you are meant to participate fully in an exploration of healing that is of interest to you. You are meant to understand how it is that you are a healer in your own unique way, whether that be professionally or in how you are as a person in the world more generally, as a part of your life journey. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a fantastic birthday season. Yeah. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of January, for next year. Wow. Okay, well, take care and happy new year, guys. Mwah! Bye.